NFTs. These days, the phrase has a bit of a stigma around it. And for good reason. If you were to walk up to me and say, NFTs are a scam, NFTs are stupid, Bruh. NFTs are overhyped, honestly, I would 100% agree with you. Huh? Now, the stigma around NFTs usually results from the abuse of the technology. 99% of projects fail because the founding team fails to provide any actual value to its holders prior to and even after they launch. Instead, they opt for opening a Discord server and launching some weird currency that has no actual value. What? Now, most founders also lack the infrastructure to launch with NFTs. This is why we require businesses to be making 250K a year in revenue or more because some businesses simply can't handle that at scale. Not to mention most founders have a blatant lack of experience in the field that they're launching in. How can you expect to launch a real estate project and raise millions of dollars with no minimum viable product and no prior experience in real estate in the first place. What? The culmination of those things often results in promises that are just blatantly false or just wishful thinking. And when they launch, well, you can probably imagine how that goes. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Stay, stay, calm. Calm. stay calm. But today I'm here to show you guys the good side of NFTs and digital asset ownership and how you can actually use it to scale your business and simultaneously improve customer experience. So without further ado, Let's hop right in. So first and foremost, what is an NFT? Well, an NFT is simply acts as a key that grants access to your product or your service. The NFT is the key, not the product. So the NF in NFT stands for non-fungible. This basically means it's within the same asset class, but not of the same value. A perfect example of this would be real estate. Obviously all commercial real estate and all residential real estate are within the same asset class, but not necessarily of the same value. House on one side of the block may be of completely different price to a house on another side of the block because they have different traits that either make their value higher or lower than their counterparts. One more great example of this would be web domains. Chances are if you're watching this video you've had or you currently have a web domain. Now that is non-fungible. There are hundreds of thousands of web domains but yours is uniquely yours and it cannot be duplicated or replicated. But of course domains can fluctuate in value. Take pizza.com for example which was bought for $20 in 1994 and sold for $2.6 million in 2008. Next, the T. The T simply stands for token, which basically acts as verification on the blockchain that you own the real thing. Okay, so we know what an NFT is, but how can it be used to help your business? Well, first and foremost, there are three types of people that we aim to help in which implementing the technology is kind of a no brainer for us. Now those of course are entrepreneurs, course slash content creators and artists. Now, what if I told you that you could charge three times what you're currently charging and generate more sales while at the same time reducing your overhead, improving your customer experience and drastically improving operations? Sounds almost too good to be true, right? Yes. For course and content creators, imagine a student was able to buy your course, learn and extract the value that they needed from it. And when they're done, sell it to another student. All the while they eliminate piracy and turn their course into a tradable asset, which allows them to control supply and demand. For artists, imagine being able to sell your work for higher ticket prices, eliminating piracy and being full profit by eliminating the middlemen like galleries. For entrepreneurs, maybe it's a differentiated offer, ability to provide digital access with 100% margins, with that offering something completely different to your competitors, allowing you to charge higher ticket prices for different variations of your own solutions. Now to break it down even further, the problems that most business owners often face are piracy, commoditized offers, chargebacks, high customer acquisition costs, and low customer lifetime value. Well, I'm gonna show you today how Web3 technology solves each of these problems. The first being token gated access. Now, I know you keep hearing me saying that, but what does it actually mean? Again, your token or digital asset is not the product itself. It simply acts as access to the product. All this means is that someone is required to have that token before they'll be able to access your content or your drops. With this, you can pretty much eliminate piracy as well as making all of your content in the future and all of your drops much, much more exclusive. Now then you've got a differentiated offer. By bringing something to the table that's completely different from anyone else in your niche, you force your potential customers to think about your offer in terms of value rather than price, which allows you to charge much higher ticket. Third, and most importantly, we've got decentralized transactions. A middleman basically becomes relevant, thus greatly reducing your overhead costs and eliminating chargebacks. You own your platform, you control the supply and demand, no third parties involved. Now, remember when I told you you could charge triple the price that you're currently charging and actually generate more sales? Well, we're gonna take a look at someone who did just that. Serial entrepreneur, Iman Gatsi. Now, Iman is notorious for pioneering in basically any field that he sets his foot in. And it's safe to say that 
He knows what he's talking about. In June of 2022, Iman launched his project by the name of Jen's Croquet Club, an exclusive membership group filled with entrepreneurs and business owners that could each network with one another, as well as high net worth individuals, a brotherhood of like-minded people from all aspects of business who could come together in one conglomerate. Now, Iman knew what he was doing, and in 24 hours, they generated $4.5 million in revenue. They sold 1,000 digital assets at $4,500 each. Since then, they've generated another $3.6 million in volume, which has generated them another $300,000 just from royalties alone. Not to mention, the project now has an entry price of $12,000, almost three times that of which it launched. So Iman essentially took his offer from buy my course and I'll change your life to buy my course and I'll change your life. But if you don't like it or you're not happy with it, you can sell it back for profit. So why did it work? Well, this is basically the culmination of a bit three things built into a funnel. Those being demand, value, and scarcity. By taking your native demand and combining that with an immensely valuable offer, as well as scarcity, an overflow of demand can be created. And an overflow of demand usually means higher ticket pricing. Okay, so that was a lot of information to take in, but I'm about to make it very, very simple for you. How can it help your business and how can it improve your customer's experience? For businesses, you completely eliminate piracy with token gated access. You build a stronger community and a brand identity. Your differentiated solution allows for higher ticket pricing. You can acquire customers with nearly $0 in acquisition costs, basically eliminating that overhead. You eliminate chargebacks for good. You have a higher customer lifetime value. You reduce your overhead and the friction. You have your own independent platform, which which means no platforms taking percentages or you getting deplatformed or demonetized. You have your own independent platform. And then you've also got a profitable and reliable stream of income outside of ad revenue. Now I could go on and on, but that should give you a good idea. So what about the customers? For customers, you get exclusive access to valuable perks and an online community. They can sell their assets at any time for profit. The digital assets are purchased owned and sold by your customers. Ownership is a huge thing for your customers. Allowing your customers to own something is usually great for upsells. They have increased proximity to a brand that they're passionate about. Priority access to future content and drops. Ease of use and access. One thing that people usually say to me is, well, my customers won't have the technical knowledge to use Web3 products. Well, no technical knowledge required. We can make it so simple that they can just buy with their credit cards. There's gonna be no forgetting of emails and passwords or losing access. So overall, just resulting in a better and improved improved customer experience. So not only does it benefit you, the business, but it also benefits your customers in a plethora of ways. So there you have it. The A to Z of us taking your business, your product, or your service and completely transforming it with the integration of Web3 technology. So if you're an entrepreneur, course slash content creator, or you're an artist and you're interested in scaling with Web3 technology, click the next button to go ahead and book your discovery call. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will leave a link down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and apply if you're interested as well. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more content from me, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload. And I will see you guys later.